I have taught in the last 29 years, three years at Dilts Combs, three years at uh, MC Napier High School, and then I've been here at Cordia for the last 23. Uh, my favorite place to teach has been by far Cordia because it's so small and I know all my students' names and it's a friendly place to be. Well, there were several reasons I wanted to teach at Cordia. Um, one of those is that it's less than a quarter of a mile from where I live. Second is the fact that it is a community school and its focus is a little different than your public schools. We tend to try to help individual students as opposed to just educating a mass number of students. Small schools do have a more homey atmosphere, but it's more of a community atmosphere that seems to make a small school function better. What I mean by getting too close to your students is there are times when you need to be very objective about certain things. And when you are close to your students, it's very hard to do that. Your uh, compassion sometimes gets in the way of your objectivity. And I say that's a disadvantage, but I'm not so sure it is a totally and complete disadvantage. At Cordia, I think our student population is much more comfortable coming to teachers with their problems than they are at bigger schools. There are a few students in bigger schools that are able to go to particular individuals that they have been able to get closer to. But yes, I think that most of our students feel comfortable coming to teachers with their problems because we are a community. We are, in a sense, a family. I'd, students coming to me with their problems probably on a daily basis whether it's a problem with a class or sometimes it's nothing much, sometimes it's they need a quarter, and sometimes it's the house burned down last night. just depends. Well, you have sympathy with your students when they come to you with problems, but that's where that, um, where do you draw the line between what's classroom and what's personal. And as substitute parents, which is what our contracts call us, we are a substitute parent while the student is in our care during the day, um, that's something we just have to learn to put in its right priority and deal with it as such. I think any human being when they have something that is distracting them from focusing on things, it is a hindrance, but it's part of life. I think that in most instances dealing with kids that were having problems, it was more trying to help them learn how to cope with those problems instead of not push. Push is not it's motivate is the right word, and sometimes those problems may be the exact motivation they need to achieve more rather than to digress or regress.